data analysis in the traditional sense is done by nearly all clinicians in every single clinic around the world. It's figuring out how do you walk, how do you run, and how can we either prevent injuries or optimize your rehabilitation. One of my big goals starting back in 2004 was to try to transform clinical practice and really develop an evidence-based scientific way to analyze the way somebody walks and runs and try to figure out what the root cause of the injury is. My first experience with the running injury clinic was back in 2013. I came to them after uh, I had a lower leg fracture in uh, playing hockey in 2011 and I just wanted to see uh, how things had changed with my running. So today with Russell we're doing a, a reassessment of his running gait mechanics in order to figure out like, have we made the appropriate changes, uh, do we need to do anything further with him. What we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of reflective markers and we're going to place them on very specific anatomical landmarks for his pelvis, his hips, his knees and his ankles and uh, we're going to film those individual markers using six different cameras and then our software takes the data from each individual camera and we put it all together and make a three-dimensional stick figure out of Russell. Then we map a skeleton over top of that and then we're going to look at him in real time so you can see Russell moving on the treadmill. So after we've collected the walking trials and the running trials, we're going to process the data. One of the ways that we try to make the data make sense is by comparing the patient to a similar cohort. So we compare by gender, by recreational versus competitive runner, and by foot strike patterns. Really soon we're going to be doing it by age, and we're going to be doing it by geography soon. So that really allows us to take a very complex picture and boil it down to one or two variables to allow us to focus in on what treatment is going to be best for this individual. I think I made some pretty significant progress. I ran my fastest half marathon about a year after that and I've just kept it going and getting into some longer distances as well. With 85% accuracy, we can actually take a brand new patient, somebody with knee osteoarthritis, and with 85% accuracy, we can determine are they going to be successful with treatment six weeks down the road. The comparison data comes from all the data we've collected uh, since 2010 and all the data that flows in on a daily basis. So every week we add about 25 to 30 new people to the database from our worldwide uh, group of 53 different clinics. And then we also have 15 different universities that are all using this system for academic research. So all of that data flows into our central database. And that's the really unique thing about what we're doing. We're creating a community of clinical users and researchers who all contribute the data to a research database and nobody else in the world has done anything like this. By developing this system within our research laboratory at the University of Calgary, we've now translated it into clinical practice around the world and uh, we're trying to eliminate the guesswork of gait analysis.